Today's lesson is on wastewater treatment. A few days ago, we visited the UC Davis wastewater treatment plant, and we visited all the components and learned what they were about. So here's the review. All right, the first part of the process is the oxidation ditches. The whole purpose of these discs as they're turning and turning and turning is to mix more and more oxygen or air into the uh, sludge. Um, all of that in there is solid waste as well as liquid wastes. And we're trying to remove the, um, the ammonia. All these little nubs on these discs help agitate the water and get the most amount of oxygen into the, the sludge and uh, liquid wastes. These liquid wastes are in the tank about 18 to 20 uh, days, depending on uh, the season. Our next stop on our tour was the drying beds and, and sludge stabilization. The liquid and solid wastes are put out into these beds. They're allowed to dry so that uh, the water is, is siphoned off so that we have all the solid waste. These solid wastes are turned over to dry out so they can go to the uh, landfill. Our next station are the clarifiers. These are uh, three or four large, large circular tanks. If you make your way up over them, you can see the, the pumps and also these little channels where the water is clarified further by just grabbing just the water and not the solid waste, which will be removed later. All right, now we're at the second to last station, which, are, which consists of filters, three of them, three sand filters and one cloth media filter. This removes any more particulate matter, uh, and again, it goes through the cross, they uh, overflow into the sand filters, and then they remove even smaller particles um, altogether. So this is the uh, filter station. This happens to be one of the sand filters that we're looking at right now. We have now entered the last station of our journey today, the ultraviolet low pressure disinfection system. This com is composed of three channels having four banks, and each of the banks have 18 modules. So these lamps, these ultraviolet low pressure uh, lamps, will, will then shine on the water at a, at a particular low level, and after it has been exposed to that low level of disinfection, it will then be safe to be released into the creek.